medical ignorance. So, out of curiosity, did you see in depressed patients, because I'm guessing, I'm assuming that it may correlate, did you see that the neurons in the amygdala um, are less or less active? Do you have an example of bi iatrogenic disease and how would a physician go about diagnosing something as iatrogenic? I know that Ebola arrestin was discovered in Virginia and it didn't affect human salinity. I was wondering if there's been any studies done on that. Um, in order to sort of come up with a vaccine for Ebola, to, for the body to be able to create antibodies against it, and whether or not it would work on certain strains of the virus. So does doing the radiation after the surgery, um, or vice versa, do those have any like mega side effects? Like does it destroy the bone cement to do radiation after that? The hot zone, and that was about Ebola. And anything that was written in the hot zone, did they ever like test in labs to like see if that would like help with Ebola at all? Kind of going off this question, did you find any other effects in other body systems in uh, How were you guys able to distinguish that the decreased pain response isn't uh, just maybe a, a decrease in like the motor feedback from the periphery? Um, I guess the, the ethical question for what I'm working on would be how much pain is too much pain when administering treatment? Because with what we're doing, we kind of have to cause pain for it to maybe alleviate it in the end. So. We're trying to find a level of like, tolerance, I guess. This new generation of the Virtual Clinical Research Center and Questionarium is a platform adaptive, web based tool which students use to imagine and create research projects driven by their own questions. Named the Explorarium, it hosts pre produced resources about and from biomedical researchers. More importantly, this collaborative tool allows teachers to mentor and students to create their own projects and shareable resources on these existing topics or ones of their own choosing. A student project, which might be a video, a slide presentation, computer program, or traditional paper, begins with a student's questions, progresses through research and discovery, project development, and public sharing of these findings, and ends with new questions that have arisen in the process, the springboard for further research. Our goal is to elicit student curiosity and for them to experience the engagement and exhilaration that comes once they realize that questioning itself is the foundation of research and science. Hey Danny, we have a question that needs to be answered. Do you think you can help us? These are questions that we don't know. How can we view mitochondria transfer? However, if the 3D printer does indeed have the potential to print nearly anything, what kind of effects would this have on the economical and social structures that we're a part of every day? Xavier Rajesh, we are in the laboratory of Dr. Todd Vendura in the Department of Pharmacology. In the laboratory, we study pain, 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 Does an overexpression of 1433 gamma lead to an increased propensity of stability? You know, Toril, I think you might need to see a doctor. You might have temporal lobe epilepsy. Is purposely falling or freezing an indicative sign to another side effect we haven't yet seen? Get my bacteria on top. If not, my cells will flatline. How hearts function better when injecting stem cells in them? We thought it might be due to the mitochondria transfer from the stem cells to the myocytes. Estas son las preguntas que vamos a explorar en nuestro laboratorio. A lab established in Sierra Leone's capital this week can confirm if someone has Ebola in a matter of hours. Process. Since the most recent outbreak of Ebola occurred in March of 2014, the amount of news articles has skyrocketed because of its spread. This, for me, has brought about many questions and concerns that you may have as well. See, she'd also occasionally come by. <laughs> I'd be sometimes working in the hood, and I wouldn't know she was in back of me. And I just... um, his enthusiasm, he's no longer scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> he actually, uh, you know, we 3D heart from our lab to say thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, like... 
And if you'll be uh, hopefully recent. You might have to be the manipulator and the other, okay. the picker upper. So it's based on how the trajectory is. So, but I'll leave that up to you. Pass at the end of the day, go there and play with it. And so you get to go in and actually feels like it. So Well, my name is Sylvester Moses. Um, I was in this program, this semi program in 1996. But it's sort of uh, my pet project, if you will, uh, and something that, that I would like. All right, Sammy, if you think. Edition now. But it's virtually the same material. And on the bottom are, are two of the pathologists that helped design this course. And actually, they're teaching it as a whole semester's course at Basis North now for a group of students. How about this one? Uh, circulatory. Could be circulatory. You can make a case for smoking being circulatory. You can make it a case for inflammatory. If you could get cancer, you can make them a case for neoplasia. So you could, you know, these things are, are meant to be a little anal or a basically undefinable within one category so that make them think. Well, one of the things that I do, um, because, you know, we're restricted in our finances and we're restricted in what we can do in a lab class in high school, so I just remind them of that. You know, I, I do tell them, you know, that is a wonderful idea and if we were able to do that via funding or via equipment or whatever the restriction is, what, what? You know, we're not asking you all to, to do everything in the same way. What I think is important about resources like this is it's important to know if these resources are gonna work in a variety of contexts, which earlier this morning when you all talked about, you know, some of you are at charter schools, some of you are in middle school versus high school, um, some of you are in rural areas or suburban areas. So I think that all of those things kind of come into play. So